Brad, a good day for Hampshire, that one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a, it was a good day. I mean, we were in a, in a pretty good position coming into the day's play, obviously, with those two boys. Um, obviously, Colin doing pretty well yesterday and setting a good base. We knew we had to score some runs today, obviously, to put ourselves into a good position to put Surrey under some pressure here. Um, and I think we've done just that. I thought I'd have been talking to you about your bowling, but I'm sure that'll come at some point during the game. But 45 at number 11, your career best. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, it was good just to be out there. Um, Colin's been great to bat with. He was a great partner to have. And obviously, a world-class player. So it was just good fun to be out there and to score some runs. What was good about it between you two? <laughs> he was just, uh, he was very positive. Obviously, we were looking to score the whole time and just have fun. We were just enjoying ourselves. Um, obviously, we've been in this situation at Surrey and now under, the, under pressure. So knowing how the team's going to react to, to us putting more runs on and, and keeping them under pressure for as long as we can. 110 runs that last wicket put on, which is actually a record for Hampshire uh, against Surrey as well. I guess you'd be a bit proud of that. Yeah, very happy with that, obviously. I mean, any runs from, from the tail is good. And, and as our coach, Aidy, has been saying, a, a happy tail is a... No, what do you say? A, happy dogs wags its tail. That's it. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I mean, it, batting looked easy, but I mean, you two played well. Of course you did. But to get them 42 for four before the rain came, what, was there different conditions there? Yeah, I think obviously we bowled very well up top there. Barks and Abbo were brilliant. Um, just just looking to just be challenging, challenging that forward defence and putting the batters under as much pressure as possible. And they were pretty tight. I mean, it, we felt like they weren't going to score quickly with those guys bowling. So we'll just hopefully do the same again tomorrow. You've got a real chance of winning this now, haven't you? Yeah, we'd hope so. I mean, obviously the, the table is looking pretty tight at the moment. Um, so it'd be a big result for us. Um, and good to be going into next week against Gloucester with the win under our belt. Now, what about you? Because I think off the top of my head, you've just missed one championship game this season. You've played in absolutely every other game so far. I mean, this, this, this season for you has been a big one, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's been great to just play some consistent cricket and, and feel comfortable bowling and back my body. So it's been, been a good step forward. Obviously, it's been a long time since I've been able to say that and do that. So very happy where I am. What's been the difference? Because as you say, you've had some horrendous injuries over the last few years, haven't you? Yeah, it's been tough. But I think... Just playing consistently, being able to bowl, bowl with maybe a, a bit of a safer action and just being used to the workloads that, that you're, you're bowling now is probably the main thing. I know when we spoke sort of before the season, you said, all I want to do this season is just play and play. Yeah. And so far, that's what's happened. Absolutely. I'm just happy to be here and playing as much as I can. <laughs>